guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Welcome back to another video. If you are new, please subscribe so you do not miss any of my future videos because they're, I mean, they're pretty interesting. <laughs> I know you came to this video to see me peel like a snake. You seen the thumbnail and you were like, sheesh. But before I get to the peeling point of the process, I want to share with you guys the journey of getting to that point. Um, if you are researching chemical peels and you're interested in getting a chemical peel, I just want to kind of give you some information on what to expect and my journey because I've been through this at least five or six times. So I just want to tell you guys about my skin. I do have combination skin. I am acne prone. I do break out around my period. Um, but that's really it. Lately, after I've had my second baby, my skin doesn't break out as much as it used to. Only around my period and I get like little bumps around my chin area. Because of late and, you know, Rona, I've been breaking out because we've been wearing masks a lot. So I had like little, it looked like bacteria, little melia. I don't know if it's called melia, but melia bumps along my um, mask line, as you can see from the footage right here. And this was actually before I got the chemical peel. I was outside of the plastic surgeon's office and I was filming the before shots for you guys. So this is what my skin looked like before I got the chemical peel. Literally like five minutes before I sat in the chair. Um, as you can see, I had like little tiny bumps. I have acne scars as well. Just from little tiny whiteheads. Any little thing, if you touch my face, I scar. So any little thing will make me scar and it'll stay there for at least one or two months. I like getting chemical peels because it gives me a new fresh start. It kind of helps me restart my skin when I haven't really been taking care of it. So I personally go to a plastic surgeon's office for my chemical peel. A nurse practitioner does my chemical peel. So I wouldn't do this peel at home. I don't even think you can do this peel at home, but I would definitely go to a nurse or a doctor to perform this VI peel. The peel is at my office $250 per peel. And then if you get a package of three, it's $700. And also, if you do go to the office that I went to, they will give you 10% off if you use my code DESTINY. That's if you go to the same exact office that I went to. And I will put everything in the description box down below for you guys. So this is Dr. Graham's office. This is where I've gotten all of my VI peels done. The office is super nice. The staff is really friendly and I love them there. I'm going to show you guys the process right now. So what is this? This is just the pre-cleanse. So this is just washing off the day. Everything that you had on, if you had any sunscreen on or any lotion. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use some acetone. Mm -hmm. That's going to dehydrate your skin even further because we really want this peel to penetrate. This is a true medium depth peel. It's a blended peel. Mm -hmm. So when I say that, um, it's got, you know, obviously a blend of the different acids in it. But the best part of this is it's painless because it has a numbing agent in it. So normally a peel with acids at these concentrations would be very, very painful. Mm -hmm. um, this one isn't. And you can let everybody know when I get started. The worst part is probably the acetone. Oh, yeah, like the drying part. The drying part. And it's just, you know, I think it smells... I think we talked about this before. Didn't you say you mm -hmm. like the smell of gasoline? Yeah, I do. Not weird at all. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like that. So this is all just pure acetone. And you'll notice it just instantly dehydrates the skin. You're such a pro. I love it when you do that with your mouth. Mm -hmm. It makes it so much easier for me. And this evaporates very quickly. So I'm going to have to add a little bit more to really dehydrate. I really want this peel to penetrate. It is definitely strong. We're using the um, Precision Plus with Purify today. Um, you have a little bit of ac active mm -hmm. um, acne over here. Not bad. A lot mm -hmm. of it is from the masks. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'd say like probably 95% of people that come to me complain of some sort of, you know, either um, bacterial infections or, or cystic acne mm -hmm. in regard to the mask wearing. Um, so I always like to remind people if you do have to wear one, which, you know, obviously I prefer not to, but if you do have to make sure you're changing them mm -hmm. quite frequently and disposing of them properly and not reusing mm -hmm. old disgusting masks. Number yeah, one, it's not, it's not going to help you with COVID and it's also not going to help your skin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dark, moist areas underneath masks are perfect breeding grounds yeah so well, you've got nice um gloss on your lips right now mm -hmm. like aquaphor so i'm not going to protect yeah. that um you know sometimes i protect around the eyes with with a little bit of aquaphor but i feel like that's probably not really necessary i'm pretty um, consistent right. with with avoiding those areas so we're going to start the peel here 
So our first pass is usually the one that might have a little bit of discomfort, but it should surpass in about 15 seconds to kind of numb up. Do you feel anything yet? <clears throat> nothing? No. That's good. Okay. We want it to be nothing. That's what. That's why VIP Peel is so great. Normally this would make you want to jump off the table. It's just the smell. The smell doesn't smell as bad as the acetone, but I think it's, it's still strong. I love it. Yeah, I think it's a great smell. I love it when I do one of these for my first patient of the day and then the office smells like it all day. Mm -hmm. I just want to be careful on the nose area because there's a little mucous membrane right there. And Destiny can feel I'm not being super gentle, but I'm not being super aggressive. It's kind of a medium rub. And then I'll reload and go for my second pass. It feels a little ting tingly. Good. Stingly? Yeah. That's it. And when you do your home care, you're going to want to use the same amount of pressure. You know, you don't want to rip your skin off, but you want to make sure that you're not just, you know, blotting gently. You want to, mm -hmm. you want to be somewhat aggressive. You can see over that uh, tiny bit of frosting over some of the, these active uh, lesions, but that's fine. I'm just not going too hard over there. I'm going to do one of these on my arms after the summer. Ooh. I just saw on the VI Instagram page they were doing one on somebody's arm for um, for the hyperpigmentation that we get mm. from the sun. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So you can use this peel on your body? Yeah, like you can use it anywhere peel? on the body. Okay. You can't do too many areas at once, but for the most part, you can you can do um, the back, the chest, mm -hmm. neck, arms, hands, backs of hands too. Yeah, yeah, I did my stomach. Yep, yeah. yeah, yeah, you did your stomach, right? Yep, and it worked great. Did it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you I just feel a little tingly, but that's it. It doesn't hurt. It's like a little cooling sensation. After the peel was done, Katie did sit me down and re-explain to me what I have to do at home. They do give you VI Peel Precision Wipes and the Purify Wipes to take home to do the same day of your peel and day two of your peel. So you do have little wipes to take home and do aftercare yourself. So this is how my face is looking, super orange. Look like a Oompa Loompa. Uh, but... Yeah, Leela touched my face right here, which she shouldn't have, but... Did you wash her? I just wiped it. Hopefully she doesn't peel on her hand, but... Um, yeah, my face feels really numb this time. Like, just numb. Like, in this area, it just feels really, really numb. I think she got really deep with the peel. And she did say she was going to use more acetone, um, which I wanted, because I want this peel to be really good. I want it to peel a lot, because I want all of this like gone and I need a good restart to my skin so hopefully it's good I have this habit of like touching my face and like leaning on my hand and stuff I gotta remember not to do that even when I don't have a peel but yeah I'm gonna go home now and relax a little bit and eat some food and then I'll update you guys when I'm going to wash my face hey guys it is midnight and my phone is filthy but it's midnight and I'm about to look at the app to see what I have to do next. So I got the VI Peel Precision Plus Purify. So I'm gonna use the Precision Plus pad first. I washed my face already and I let it dry and then I went in and applied the Precision Precision Plus Towelette. It's really hard to say, that's kind of a tongue twister. But I kind of let the napkin it's folded at first, so I use it folded and then I open it up because I just want to get all the juices from the packet and I'm making sure that I'm being really rough. Even though this time, I can admit, this did hurt a little bit. <laughs> like my face just felt really raw already, which I completely appreciate because Katie did her thing and like this peel was 
probably the best one I've ever had. So I'm going in and I'm using my um, other towelette. This is the VI Peel um, Precision Plus Purify Pad, I believe. And I'm going in with that. I'm just following the instructions that they give you on the packet um, or on the app. I'm sorry. They literally tell you every single step on what to do. And this is basically you applying the peel again at home so that your peel is um, a lot deeper and better and it penetrates more. This is just a part of the VI peel process. You take some of the chemical peel home with you on these pads and you just apply it like this. And this part, is this stinks. It smells just like the VI peel that I got at the office, um, but it has a little less of the products in it, I think. But it still smells really bad and your face will be kind of raw. Well, my face was. So this is on day two when I woke up. This is how my face looked. Um, it looked fine. My face just felt a little bit tight, but it looked pretty normal. My dark spots were just getting a little bit darker. All right, so I'm just getting out the shower. And I noticed that my face is really, really super tight. And when I like bring my forehead down... You can see little wrinkles. I'm going to turn the light down so you can see a little bit more. But like my face just looks super like tight. And my dark spots have gotten a lot darker. Like this area looks super dark. All around here it looks really dark as well. Even when I turn the light up like everything just has gotten darker which is normal but it's still kind of scary. <laughs> And around my mouth feels really tight. Like I can feel where it's going to peel around my mouth. And then my forehead just feels really tight. Like when I do this, you can see like little, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks just really wrinkly. I'm going to do the rest of my um, towelettes and then I'm going to go to bed. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my face is getting a lot tighter and my dark spots are getting a lot darker. Um, as, I as I rub this across my face, my face is still really raw and it feels really tight. And I am still trying to do it really rough because I want this peel to peel a lot. So I am going in really roughly, kind of just scraping this thing across my skin just to make sure the chemicals penetrate in there. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, around here. Oh, it's so sore. Oh, my God. Oh, it feels so sore right here. I don't know why. But every time I go in the, with the towelette in that area, it just I have a feeling I'm going to peel really nicely with this peel because I can feel it already. I'm going to wash my hands and then wait 30 minutes and do the next one. So to finish up day two, I have to go in with my second towelette and this is the purifying step, I believe. And I'm just rubbing that across my forehead. Um, at this point, my skin is done. Like <laughs> my face, my face like needs to be numbed at this point. But I know that I'm going to peel a lot just because I already feel the tightening effect and this kind of not burns, but it just feels really, really raw. So this is the morning of day three and I'm about to go outside so I want to make sure that my skin is protected. So I'm going to go in with the VI peel sunscreen that was provided with this peel. Of course I had to spill some of the sunscreen on my hoodie <laughs> like I wouldn't be destiny if I didn't. <laughs> and applying this when I first put it on I knew it was going to be super thick and it wasn't going to blend into my skin. So I just applied it. I didn't really care because I wanted to make sure my skin was protected anyways. I should have used my own sunscreen, but I went in with this just to see um, how the VI Peel one would do my skin. And it got really clumpy and it was really white and it gave me a super white, 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 white cast. <laughs> but I mean, I guess my skin was protected, so I didn't really care. I wasn't getting out of the car anyway. As you can see, it just clumped up on my face which was really annoying but we're all good it's all right it's not that serious I look crusty anyways you know I'm getting a chemical peel so <laughs> it didn't really affect me that much it's not like I had to go to work but if you do have to go to work and you need to wear a sunscreen don't go to work looking like this like get another sunscreen okay hey guys today is Saturday and it is 11 18 at night and my face is peeling, so I want to show you guys. So I'm turning the light down so you can see. 
but I put on some lip gloss. I just got out the shower and when I got out the shower, I looked in the mirror and I noticed that, you know, I got some pillage going on. So this is what is happening around my mouth. We've got some peeling here. Um, you guys knew I was feeling really, really like tight around my mouth. So this is how it looks like. And then there's a little bit of peeling by my nose. There's nothing. Oh, there's a little bit on that side. But my skin feels really, really tight. Like, even my forehead. I don't know if you guys can see it. It just looks really, really, ugh. Like, snake skin. Eww. Ugh. Yeah. Same thing on this side. But, yeah, I'm starting to peel. I can't wait to see how all of this peels and everything. Um, I'm really excited to see the results. So this is day four. As you can see, I'm peeling around my eye, my nose. Um, everything's starting to really lift now. And my face still feels really tight. But I'm actually starting to peel a lot, a lot more. So in the evening around 5.10, um, my face looked like this. As you can see, it has peeled a lot since the morning time. And um, my face doesn't really itch as much as it feels relieved. Um, it just looks really nasty and gross and the skin is really starting to hang. And I'm peeling in straight up sheets. Like my skin is peeling off in sheets. But it feels really relieving for my mouth not to be so tight. But my forehead obviously still is. And around my nose is like really disgusting too. And watch this little flap by my nose open up. Ugh. It just looks so nasty, but that literally happened on camera, and I'm so glad I got it. But it just literally peels like that when you start moving your face. It just keeps peeling and peeling. Um, this is 7:41 the same night. I just peeled a little bit more. Um, as you can see, like my new skin is underneath is looking real good. Like it's looking really, really clear, and it's just nasty to see and satisfying at the same time. As you can see, my forehead is starting to peel towards the top of my forehead and the center, like the top portion of my nose and I'm really excited that my face is actually peeling and I'm seeing the actual physical exfoliation of my skin like super super satisfying at this point I feel like my peeling has gotten a little bit out of hand and I can't really deal with all this hanging skin so I think I'm going to um cut it it's just too much going on right here <laughs> and I'm gonna cut it like, it, it just doesn't need to look this bad. So as you guys watch me cut my skin off my face, I'm just going to explain to you guys what days I actually do peel the most. So days four and five are my most heavy peel days. So, like, I look like this for days four and five. All the other days before and after, um, I'm just fine. I feel like I could face the world. So if you do have to work, days four and five are the days you might want to take off. Um, I wouldn't even want to wear a mask to work over this because I feel like it would get hot and sweaty and bacteria will, like build up and you can like break out in your new areas. So I wouldn't do that. But you definitely need at least two days of downtime, days four and five, in my personal opinion. So on days like one and two, you can put on makeup and everything. They tell you that you can do that. I personally don't do that as much just because I want to see like my actual skin. This is my skin that fell off too, by the way. I just wanted to show you guys that. So this is midnight, the same night, technically the next day, but I always call it the same night, 12, 13, and I cut off all of my dead skin, and it's looking a lot more pleasing to the eye. I don't know how to explain it, but the skin's not hanging off too much. So if you do like have to go to work and stuff like that, definitely cut off your dead skin so that it's not hanging. Check in the mirror, look in the mirror every now and then. And as you can see, my forehead is really peeling a lot more. It is very itchy. Um, at this stage, I feel like on my forehead it was super itchy, but I feel like this peel was probably the best peel that I've ever gotten just because um, it's so deep and it helped to purify my skin as well. You'll see the um, end results at the end, but yeah, my nose was itching too, by the way, <laughs> and I can't really scratch it because you're not supposed to scratch or peel back the skin, so it was a little tough. You gotta, gotta hit it like you gotta weave. <laughs> a lot of people were asking how I wash my face. This is literally me in the shower. 
and I let the water run on my face first. I put the water on kind of cool even though I like to take hot showers. I take my um, Purpose soap. This is a very gentle like water-based soap and I wash my face like this kind of pushing um, my skin uh, in towards my nose so that the dead skin can just fall off. I highly suggest using like an oil cleanser if your skin can tolerate it um, because it kind of sloughs off the dead skin. Hey guys, today is day five. Say hi to Leela. Say hi Leela. And I'm just waking up at like 11, but this is how my face looked when I woke up. And I am in natural light, so you guys can see um, what it looks like in natural light. But look at my skin underneath. Even my ear is peeling, do you see that? I have a lot of skin that has yet to peel. Say hi. Day five this time around, I feel like I looked so bad. I looked like a burn victim, especially with this black thing around my head. <laughs> but my forehead was peeling so much. I literally could have just peeled it off with like my fingers if I wanted to. But of course you can't do that. My forehead was itching like crazy. I had to go outside. I put on a sun hat and a load of sunscreen um, because I wanted to protect my face. But yeah, this is how I was looking. And then... Later that night at like 10.30, it started to really, really peel off. Like that one sheet on my forehead right now, just looking at this footage, I just want to lift it up with my fingers and just pull it off. But like I said, if you can tolerate like an oil cleanser while you're on the VIP, I feel like I've done this enough times to like know that oil cleanser, like if you oil cleanse first, it will take off all of that dead skin that's really loose if you gently go in with it. Um, especially if you have to go back to work and stuff, you just don't want your dead skin hanging, you know? So use a good oil or oil cleanser that your skin can tolerate and just kind of get that dead skin off and then go in and wash your face with a gentle cleanser or the VI uh, cleanser that they provide you. And as you can see, my skin still looks like beef jerky <laughs> a little bit on the side just because it hasn't like started to flake yet. But that one piece on my forehead though, ooh. So I skipped day six because it wasn't much to see. Everything had peeled off. This is day seven. As you can see, I have a little bit left like by my ear area. So it wasn't that bad. This day, I actually did go outside a lot. I just kept putting on sunscreen. But yeah, the peeling process is basically almost done. And yeah, that's day so seven. So in my experience, the entire VI peel process takes about 10 days to complete. Um, downtime is around days four and five for me. And I look crazy on days four and five but the end results are super worth it and i'm going to show you guys the results right now so this is my before and after as you can see my after my skin is glowing and it's so tight um, my hyperpigmentation is not as intense um, those little melia bumps that were along my jawline and up to my ear are completely gone from my mask i did break out a little bit by my mouth area on my right side but that is definitely going away over time your skin does need time to regenerate so give it that time don't pick at your skin um, but yeah, this peel was definitely the best one I've ever gotten. Highly suggested. So if you have been researching peels and everything, this one is like fire. Okay. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.